everybody, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, today I'm going to do a Cajun cod um, with a lovely fresh spring salsa. Um, to start off, I'm going to get the cod marinated. Now I have my beautiful piece of cod here. Um, check there's no bones in it. As I did before, I'm just going to put a little few slits in the back. It's, I just like to make the flavour go through the whole piece of cod. I'm going to cut this then into two portions. For fish, it's around 170 to 200 grams of um, flesh that you need. So, here's your two portions. Then I'm going to slip it into my bacon dish. Olive oil, rub it well in. And then you can see the Cajun just, just literally sprinkle it over. Now some people like a lot a lot of um, spice, it depends on your personal taste, so I'm just lightly dusting this. Now, so that's it, that's your cod. I'm gonna marinate that for half an hour or so the seasoning will go into the cod. While your cod is marinating, we'll start making our salsa. So for our salsa, we have orange, spring onion, vine tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, black olives, and some basil. Um, so to start off with, we're going to grate a small bit of the zest of the orange into the bowl, just a small little bit. And then we're going to peel the orange and cut into segments. Now you cut the segments, do it over the bowl so your juice will go in to the bowl. So you can see I'm cutting in between the vein of the orange, so you're getting just a no white of the orange. Now, that's enough for that. Now, when the segments are cut, just remove them and we we'll come into smaller little pieces for your salsa. Just pieces that size, can you see? Around that size. Then we'll push the garlic to go into the salsa. Then we have the little tomatoes. So how you prep the tomato is cut it in half, cut it in a quarter, and then just slip your knife underneath the tomato and take the seed out, and then cut it into small little strips. So that's how your tomato, so I have that already prepared here. So we add our tomato in. Next we put in our olives, so some nice black olives uh, with the stone take now. So literally just cut them in rounds. So you, you can see the nice substance in them. And then next we're going to get our spring onion. And just have it clean, have the top taken off it and just have it washed. So. into your bowl and then a little bit of basil so when basil is, is so light just clunch it together and down to your knife into your bowl. 
and then a little sprinkle of salt, some pepper, give it a mix. That looks lovely and colorful now and so light and tasty and healthy. And then in with your olive oil. And now I'm gonna squeeze some of the orange over so I get more juice in. So cover your salsa then with a bit of cling film and we'll put that into the fridge so the flavours can enhance while we're going to cook the cod. Now we're ready, we're going to seal off our cod, so very hot frying pan, nice drizzle of olive oil and three knobs of butter. I love cooking with butter because it gives lovely flavour. So as you can see our cod is nicely marinated. So skin side down first. Cooking with the skin helps to keep in the moisture in the fish. And fish depends on the thickness of how long it's going to take to cook. So if you get a flat piece of cut out, it's going to cook quicker than a thick piece. So we've lovely two thick pieces of cod here. So it's going to take you know, five to eight minutes to cook it. But you will know by the flakiness of the cod when you um, put it in the through. So just let that there for a couple of minutes. Lovely. 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 But this is going to keep your fish lovely and moist. And the flavour too is going to be absolutely lovely. Just give that extra bit of flavour to the fish and we'll put that into the oven as well. Now it's time to transfer this back into the oven dish and we'll go put it in the oven just for 5 minutes. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely looking. The colour of that thing. Put the arms around. Now, just before I put it in the oven, just putting two more knobs of butter on top of it. Okay, five minutes in the oven then at 150 degrees. Look at that. Now you can see the beautiful colour of the fish and you can see 
Look if I touch that there, it's lovely and flaky, see? And you can see inside it's clear. So that means the fish is lovely cooked. Um, it's very important not to overcook fish because it'll dry out, but you can see it's lovely moist there. So to plate it up, spoon of salsa in the center of the plate. Sorry about the orange, it's all flavour. Fish on top of the salsa. And then we'll drizzle our salsa around the plate. Make sure you get all your ingredients around with it. Put a little bit on top as well. You can do as much as possible. And I'm going to just put a little bit of the juice off the cook and just right on top of the fish. Your flavour and and then to finish it off, I'm going to get a small few bits of baby leaves of basil. And we finish it off and here's your dish.